An 11-year-old girl is no longer facing theft charges for stealing from a Kroger. The stealing is what led to an officer shocking her with a taser as she ran away. It's also led to a wave of outrage and calls for change in CPD policy. Local 12's Brad Underwood is outside the Spring Grove Kroger tonight after talking with the girl's mother. Brad? Well, good evening, Rob. Yes, uh, what's not in dispute here is what the 11-year-old did. Her mother says she did leave the Kroger here in Spring Grove Village with some snacks and didn't pay for them. Police say when they told that girl to stop, she didn't. And that's where the debate comes in. Was tasing an 11-year-old the right move in this situation? Donna Gowney doesn't understand why her 11-year-old daughter, who isn't even 5 feet tall or 100 pounds, needed to be tased for shoplifting. And I just wish that he would have just thought a different way of going by then tasing her. Cincinnati police say an off-duty officer working security at the store tased the 11-year-old in the back when she wouldn't stop. I know everybody probably be like, well, you know, she stole, you know, whatever, but that's not the issue at this point. The issue is that how he went about it. Gowdy says Police Chief Elliot Isaac came to her home last night to talk about what happened. She says she wants a full investigation and the opportunity to see the findings. Seven is too young. Let's move it to 12. Vice Mayor Christopher Smitherman also wants a full investigation. And like Gowdy, he too wants policy change. Currently, tasers can be used on people ages 7 to 70 actively resisting arrest. What caught my attention was the chief uh, making a decision for, for desk duty. And so that gave me some indication that the chief um, thought that there were some, he had some concerns about what had happened. Police Chief Isaac did release a statement saying, quote, we are extremely concerned when force is used by one of our officers on a child of this age. As a result, we will be taking a very thorough review of policies as it relates to the use of force on juveniles, as well as the propriety of the officer's actions, end quote. For Gowdy, she says she hopes her daughter learns from this mistake. I understand that, you know, the still and everything was wrong, but how he went about it, it was it, it didn't have to it didn't have to happen and two wrongs don't make a right now we do know the officer involved in this uh, incident was wearing a body camera however it was not turned on at the time the child was tased uh, cincinnati police uh, tell us tonight there are multiple cameras uh, in this parking lot but to their knowledge none of them recorded what happened on monday night reporting live tonight in spring grove village Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. Rob. Brad, thanks very much. The officer involved is on restricted duty during the investigation.